Find the speed of water coming out of a faucet if the pressure head is six meters above the faucet opening. In this problem, the pressure head being six meters high means that the water basically comes from a water tower that is six meters high. Another common way to provide a pressure head for a faucet is to use a pump. We will talk about that kind of problem in another video. Now see if you can find the speed of the water coming out of the faucet. Here we have a flowing fluid problem. For flowing fluids, we have two equations we can use. The equation of continuity, which is A1V1 equals to A2V2. A times V is also the volume flow rate, volume of flow per unit time. And the Bernoulli's equation that tells us the pressure plus one half rho V squared plus rho GY is a constant. And in this case, we're going to use the Bernoulli's equation. So this is the Bernoulli's equation. And I'm going to call this part of the fluid 1 and this part of the fluid 2. So P1 is the pressure right over here. Now this water is exposed to the atmosphere. So the pressure up there is the atmospheric pressure. Although probably all water towers have covers over the top, the surface of the water is still exposed to the atmosphere and the atmospheric pressure. The covers are not airtight. They are just there to keep things from falling into the water. And then we have the one half rho V1 squared. Now the water tanks are usually very big, much, much bigger than the cross-sectional area of the faucet. So when the faucet is on, the water level in the tower is going to go down, but it's going to go down very, very slowly. So the speed over here is uh, almost zero. Another way to look at this is uh, A1V1 equals to A2V2. The cross-sectional area over here is very, very big, much bigger than A2. So the V1 is much, much smaller, which is uh, going to be negligible. So we're going to use zero for the speed at one. At one, the height is the six meters. So we need to put in the, the density. I'm actually not going to put in the density because uh, you can see later on that the density is gonna cancel. And then the G is 10, the height is six. On the other side, the open faucet, the water is going to be exposed to the atmosphere. So the pressure here at the water is the atmospheric pressure. And then we don't know how fast the speed of flow is. We're looking for the V2. And uh, over here, of course, uh, the Y is uh, zero. And then the atmospheric pressure, of course, we can cancel. And then for these two terms, both of these have density. So the density can also cancel. That means that we get 60 equals to 1 half V2 squared. And we'll be able to solve for V2, it is the square root of 120, which is about 10.95 meters per second. So that's the speed of the water coming out of the faucet. And uh, in reality, of course, water is going to come out much slower than the speed because uh, there is viscosity, which means uh, the water flow would lose energy. Just in case, if you haven't noticed, we can actually get the same answer if we use uh, mgy equals to one half mv squared because the rho gy and the one half rho v squared, the rows cancel over here, the m's cancel over here. So you, you will get exactly the same answer. This means uh, if I release a ball from rest at this height, and then it falls down by the time the ball gets to the same height as the faucet, the ball would reach the same speed, just like the water. However, we still should use the Bernoulli's equation to solve this problem because we're working with flowing fluids. On the AP exam, you will lose points if you use mgy equals to one half mv squared for flowing fluid problems like this.